Well, let's look at our very final story real quick. Absolutely. Now, 33 days up until his handover, Governor Ayodele Fayashe of Ekiti State wrote to the EFCC yesterday, telling the agency to expect him as soon as his tenure expires on Tuesday, October 16, 2018. Now, he also asked the State House of Assembly to approve a supplementary budget of 10 billion naira. The two moves elicited immediate response from the Ekiti State Governor-elect, Dr. Kayode Fayemi, who described the supplementary budget as fraudulent and Fayashe's letter to the EFCC as a decoy, quote-unquote, to pull a surprise. Specifically, Fayemi also warned anyone who takes part in approving the supplementary budget of dire, dire consequences. So basically, I think this is a follow-up of the end of AKT elections when, you know, EFCC have put out a tweet to say that they're opening mm. the books and they're visiting his records. And we know that he and his wife are being investigated for fraudulent allegations. Or yes, allegations of fraud. Yes. The truth is, this is a lesson to political office holders that, for example, as a governor or as the president, you enjoy immunity, you know, section 308 of the 1999 Constitution of, amended, of Nigeria has amended. But at the end of the day, when your tenure elapses, you know, they would open the books and you would give, you know, an account of your stewardship to the people that, uh, you know, validated your mandate. Uh, this is not prompting anything. But it's a good way to go that Ayodele Fayoshe personally wrote a letter to the EFCC and said, you know, I am coming. Quite I've had people discuss and say, well, when we look at Nigeria and the EFCC, all you need to do is, you know, present yourself. Maybe they hold you for two weeks, then they charge you to court, and at the end of the day, we spend hours. But we're very Sorry, we spend with people years. Like, with judges like Justice Banjoko, Justice, uh, mm. the 1414 judge, we know that. Those who are at the helm of affairs now, because they are being covered by the immunity clause, there's no hiding place. Mm. We're sure that there's some sort of cleaning going on in the judiciary. But it's not just about justice. It's about having a watertight case that you present. Sure. Because the interpretation of the law or the adjudication on the part of the justice of the court is, or the judge, is based on the evidence that you present. And everything must be done within the ambits of the law. The former governor of Abia State, 1997, sorry, 1999 to 2007, all Jews or Kalu's case is still in court. We know that certain people have been jailed. But what we must emphasize is try as much as we can to use the instrument of the law to strengthen institutions to the point where whether you are the executive governor or whether you have completed your tenure, irrespective of your position, so long as it is leadership by servitude, where you rendered your service to the people who validated your mandate, you would have to account for your stewardship. Certain people have also argued that what is good for the geese is good for the gander. If I or she comes out to say he has joined the APC today, will you dare question him? So all of these issues that get Nigerians to debate and say, we don't believe in this process or we believe in the process, are ones that government must try to clear the doubts of people so that irrespective of whether you are standing under the umbrella or you are holding the broom or it is the cock as in Abga and the phone like Koa, at the end of the day, when you give account of your stewardship to the people, it will be open, it will be fair, and it will be transparent. Fire but certain people will look at your and say, you get mine. We will wait now. 16th of October is just around the corner. Mm. And definitely for now, section 36 of 5... Even give them time off. Exactly. It's at 1 p.m. Let me know if it's convenient and for And says you. if it's not convenient, they should communicate another time. Exactly. And people so, say, eh. You will remember 36, section 36 of 5 of the constitution that says innocent until proven guilty. Mm. So he would go and answer to the case that is, you know, the case that is leveled against him by the EFCC. And definitely we'll be giving you the updates here on Hello Nigeria, but thank you so much for joining us. Thank, thank you. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.